All right, winning on the road is never easy, especially in this conference, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, aka the SWAC. And for Alabama A&M, they had a tall task of facing Grambling as the Tigers had homecoming on yesterday. Now the game was tied at 17 going into the break, and in the second half, the Bulldogs balled out as they outscored the G-Men 28 to 17 in uh, that side of the game. Xavier Langford carrying the load for Alabama A&M with 320 total yards and accounted for three touchdowns in the Bulldogs' fourth victory of the season. AM offensive coordinator Dwayne Taylor explains why the team was so successful in a hostile environment. We had a philosophy yesterday. We were going to run the ball till they loved it. We were going to make them love what we did yesterday. So we was able to uh, take the game to them. Uh, we knew they was hostile. We knew it was going to be homecoming. They were excited, uh, but we felt disrespected because we were scheduled for homecoming. So we just wanted to go out there and compete and do what we had to do for four quarters. Offensively, we knew that we were going against Grambling's offense. Uh, they had the number one offense in the league. Yes. So we wanted to make sure that we uh, put our defense in a good situation, too. We knew it was going to be a shootout early. So we had to come with that mindset that we were going to have to outscore our opponent. All right, the Bulldogs are off this week, and after that, all roads lead to Birmingham for the 82nd McDonald's Magic City Classic as the Dogs take on arch rival Alabama State. 2.30 p.m. is the kickoff on October 28th at Legion Field. Simon? 